Hello, it's the Game Manic here, and today I'm going to show you how to record your videos from your Xbox 360, uh, PS3, and Wii in the best possible quality, and how to render your videos so that they are HD quality on YouTube 720 or 1080p. Uh, hopefully by now you have set up your EasyCap and its drivers have been installed onto your computer and you've connected the cables onto your TV screen. Now I'm going to show you how to record your EasyCap so you can make montages, machinimas and commentaries um, of whatever you're trying to record. Uh, you could, you would uh, have uh, probably got with your EasyCap either showbiz 2 recording a software or um you lead or you liad um video studio 8 or 9 depending on which model uh you bought uh but there are much better uh, recording programs in my opinion out there personally i use arcsoft total media extreme 2 which i find gives uh, a much much better quality video with less interlacing showbiz has a lot of interlacing on it so just be warned if you use that um so first of all you need to download this from the internet uh it's quite a big file by the way and that goes to, without saying for all files that you do uh when you're recording and rendering your videos uh so i've got it on my i've already downloaded it i click on the icon on the desktop then go to the third thumbnail from the left and then go on to record video like so and you get uh, taken to a new screen the capture module uh, which is loading uh, and there we have I've already set up my easy cap so I've got it there by the way the frame rate is low when I'm capture captured this thing uh, my footage so it's, it, it actually goes very fast uh, so don't be put off by that first of all we need to go up to the first setting make sure it's on USB 2861 device that is the easy cap it doesn't come up as easy cap device it just comes up as USB 2861 device so you need to know that make sure it's on that okay um, then you go for the next one make sure it's on composite video uh, the next setting of the video channels you don't really need to worry about um, but make sure uh, line USB EMP audio device and it should be pretty simple from there so uh, if you have any problem go on to video settings and go on to um, you need to go on to the first tab which I'm on now and make sure it's on NTSC 433 that's even if you're on the power region in Europe uh, whatsoever just make sure you're on that and you should get a color image and a moving one otherwise you might get a black and white or just no image at all so I'm just doing a little recording uh, which I can use uh, and demonstrate in my in my uh, later in the video. So I've done that, and I'm gonna exit. And now I'm gonna go into another piece of software, um, Sony Vegas, which you can download as a free trial from the Sony website. Um, and I'll put a link in the description. And uh, just let that load for a little bit. Um, most of this stuff is free uh, after a while. I mean, uh, Sony Vegas, uh, you have 30 days free. It's just a trial. It's not the whole program. It can cost a lot of money, so make sure if you are doing this, uh, doing a short space of time, your montages, uh, and, uh, well, yeah, anything else. Anyway, uh, here, the black screen, we have the preview. So this is uh, your video will come up here when you're run, running it. It will come up as it would be when it's uh, rendered. So you need to go file, import, um, and media, and then go and just find your video. It should be quite simple. It should be a number with a few uh, underscores. And it should ha the thumbnail should be sort of relating to the video. Pretty simple. And press open. Now you've got a video uh here drag it down to where i have and um there you ha there you go however you can see the black lines to the side 
uh, to get that you need to um, you need to press you need to right click on properties um, right click then go on properties and then you need to uncheck maintain aspect ratio which will be pretty simple and just keep, sort of really keep that the same um, just do the settings that I have I'm doing at the moment and after you've done that, press OK. And you should see that these, the black lines, the thick ones, have gone. Now you've still got these uh, thin ones, which you can remove by um, entering pan crop, uh, which there'll be a little logo that takes it to it on the video itself. Um, and you, that way you can um, sort of zoom, uh, you can zoom in and then just take off the black lines, uh, like I'm doing now. And you should see in the preview that there are no black lines which is a big bonus it looks better on you on your videos and YouTube okay now you need to go onto properties make sure you're on um, uh, 720p um, I mean 30 frame rate 720p uh, HDV I think um, there we go and just follow the settings that I'm doing Make, um, put it to upper field first because uh, then you can get less interlacing uh, and you can keep that the same uh, the frame rate uh, I like to increase it to uh, s near 60 so that's about the rate at which your game plays make sure everything's uh, your video quality is on best the blur just keep on Gaussian or whatever it's on and once you've done that, press OK. And okay, so you've got your video now, and you need to go on to render as, and this is the final stage of the uh, the, the process. And go to custom down here, and uh, like, don't worry about the first one. It's just the second one you really need to worry about. Make sure. Uh, that the the sharpness is up to a hundred, and you get the best quality picture. Uh, you don't really need to worry until the last bit, and make sure that's on best, the last one best. That's all you need to do. Go on OK, and save as uh, whatever you want to save it as. This is a test, so I'm going to save it um, as a test, and save, and it should have it should be rendering. It can take quite a long time. I've sped this up slightly, um, but it really depends on the size of your video and the quality. If you're doing it in this, um, in HD, it can take quite a long time uh, compared to if you're doing it on a lower quality. Um, so just be careful about that. And... Um, by doing uh, by rendering in the settings, you should be able to get HD quality on YouTube, uh, 720p. Although, if you really wanted 1080, you could um, you, you could get the settings uh, and just like uh, change them around to get the best possible settings to get uh, 1080p. And it should say when you've done, close. Um, and I'm going to close. I don't need to save, but you can save if you want, if you want to change it later. And that's really it, to be honest. Um, I, I hope you uh, like this tutorial. Um, well, really subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, I'll be doing more in the future if we want to. And thank you.